Hey guys, Mars Singer here, bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video. And so, with the reveal of the fact that Tanabata celebration is going to be a new full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku, and from the description of the event update, it does seem like it is going to be from the baby fight. I wanted to talk about the potential easy A's that we could see. Um, now, I did cover this when I made my own custom celebration, but I do want to go over some of the stuff that I think is actually the most likely. Um, because when I made that video, I was obviously kind of coming at it from the perspective of if I designed the celebration, like this is what I would want to see. And I don't think we necessarily will see all of those same things. So just to, uh, as a refresher, I want to show the uh, previous Tanabata celebration here. You can see that throughout the course of the celebration, we got one free to play Easy A because it was the Super Strike revamp. Uh, then we got a Dokon Fest, it was a dual Dokon Fest, I guess, technically, Extreme Z Battle. One 30 stage event and an easy aid for Geo Blue and STR Rose. And then later on in the celebration, we got two separate Extreme Z Battles for LRs, Trunks and Mai, and then Zamasu and Goku Black. So overall, technically, as part of this celebration, five units got easy A's. One free to play, two Dokon Fest TURs, and then two yellow coin LRs. Now, that doesn't mean it's going to be exactly the same, right? Like, in t especially when it comes to GT and, like, the Baby Saga type stuff, there aren't even enough LRs, I think, for, like, to get easy A's. Uh, in terms of Dokkan Fest exclusives, there's not a lot as well. So we are going to see, I think, a different sort of structure in terms of what type of units get easy A's. But hopefully we will see the same sort of number and the same, you know, level of power. I mean, I say that, right? Like, Trunks and Mai, I guess, were never really that good. Uh, Zamasu and Goku Black were insane. Like, you know, I guess... Not, on, not I want to say on paper, but in-game as well. It's just the fact they never really got the backup and, like, the 200% team. But they're really, really good. And then these guys, obviously, decent. While Goku Black is held back a little bit by the final blow thing, once you get it, he is really good. Uh, Vegito Blue, obviously, can be really good as well. Um, so, yeah. One thing I want to say straight out of the gate. I've seen a lot of people talking about this guy right here. Um, I do not think he is going to easy A during this celebration. Now, a lot of people think that he's going to easy A pretty much guaranteed because he's one of the oldest GT Dokkan Fest exclusives that doesn't have an easy A. But, I mean, we've seen in celebrations countless times now over the last couple of years that the Dokkan will skip over units or go out of order for units that better fit the theme of the celebration. And whilst we are getting a new Super Saiyan 4 unit, there's no other, like... The Gogeta has no relevance to that, apart from being a Super Saiyan 4, right? He's from a completely different saga from the end of the arc. It means if they do ever revisit the Shadow Dragon saga, like if we eventually get an LR Omega or something like that, like this guy needs to EZA in that celebration, right? So I personally do not think we will see this guy EZA. Now we could, but I think it is very unlikely, right? I think they would more likely do units that are maybe even newer than this guy, but who fit the theme of the celebration. So the tab that I brought up briefly by accident, because I thought the Gogeta one was first, is this guy right here. So this base form GT Goku, now he awakens from medals from the old full power Super Saiyan 4, who obviously already has his Easy A. So I guess this guy technically would be a sub Easy A, but he could certainly be interesting, right? Um, he gets all of his stats on super, he gets extra key when facing one enemy, which is, you know, what you're going to be doing most of the time, so that makes him pretty self-sufficient, um, but other than that, he is a very, very, like, blank slate, right, they could do whatever they want with this guy in order to make him good, right, obviously for a lot of these banner units, or like, just side units, giving them some sort of support tech would obviously be much better because this guy as he is if they just upgraded everything about the way the card is now he's just going to be like a solo damage dealer i mean could be good for teams with like tech pan if they do make him good but it'll be interesting to see what they could do but i think because he's directly tied to the old full power super saiyan 4 goku i think we definitely could see an easy a for him he is technically from the super 17 arc but like i say he released with uh, full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku, the tech one, and awakens with his medals. Um, 
So next up we have this guy. I think this guy is probably the most likely and most anticipated EZA for this celebration, right? Because this guy, uh, when he came out alongside the original STR Super Saiyan 4 Goku, running the two of them together is what made that Super Saiyan 4 Goku an absolute monster. Like, he was the hardest hitting unit in the game when he came out. If he was linked up with this guy, they just went absolutely crazy. Because obviously they share links, like Super Saiyan, Kamehameha, uh, GT, Saiyan Raw, especially, because Saiyan Raw is a big attack link. And then this guy was giving 33% attack support. So with an easy A, like that's easily going to go up to either 40 or 50. They might throw some defense in there as well. Um, you know, give him his super attack effect. He raises attack three turns, make it defense as well. Um, I, mean, I don't know if that's enough for him to be good enough in the current meta. So maybe throw some like damage reduction in his passive or something like that. I don't know. But like as long as this guy is good enough to survive like to stand on his own two feet he will be a must run with this new goku with an easy a and just with other super saiyan 4s in general because of the link set and then the support um he has the chance to turn into a great ape now unfortunately it is random so it is the worst kind of great ape transformation because you have no control over it it could happen early when you don't want it or even like you know you could be right at the end of an event where the boss is on a tiny sliver of health and you've finally got the uh, requirements to get an active skill that you really want to see like the cool ko screen for and then this goku transforms which is kind of annoying but obviously it is still a good mechanic like the great ape mechanic is very strong and then depending on what they do like obviously he's a very basic old great ape so they need to add some stuff to this like give him extra key in his passive and stuff like that but this guy i think is probably the most anticipated easy a now he is a sub easy a as well and this is what i go back to when i said at the start about the different categories of easy a's some people i think feel like a celebration has to have a Dokkan Fest exclusive easy a otherwise it's disappointing in some way but like for me i would take like three sub easy a's that are really good that you want to run on their teams over like forcing a Dokkan Fest unit that doesn't really fit the theme into the celebration just so that we have a Dokkan Fest easy a like for the sake of it right because that brings me on to the next couple of units, which is this Physical Pan and this STR Trunks. These guys released as side banner units for the second anniversary. Like, these guys are six years old at this point. Like, they desperately need easy A's. Pan is a support unit, so obviously she's going to work well. I wouldn't be surprised if this Goku has some kind of buff from having a Pan or just a Hybrid Saiyan or something like that with him, because obviously... Not only does he become a Super Saiyan 4 for the first time directly related to Pan, but then obviously the ritual to give him the energy for full power Super Saiyan 4 involves Pan, Gohan, Goten and Trunks. So I could see Pan having some sort of relevance to the new unit. So her getting an easy A, obviously again she's a very kind of blank slate at this point. Making her a really good support unit would obviously be super, super beneficial. Like, imagine her getting an EZA that gives her the same kind of support as Bulma or Yajirobe, where it affects the rotations that she's not even on. And then she could be incredibly good. Now, this Trunks, I mean, again, whilst he is a very blank slate, he was just kind of a, a damage dealer, which means he is less valuable as a unit. Like, a lot of the time when they EZA these units, they just accentuate their strengths. So this Trunks just being a hard-hitting unit doesn't really necessarily buff the teams that he's on. But him getting a good EZA is another solid step forward, right? Like, I could see them doing an Extreme Z battle where you get, like, these three together. Um, or even all four of these guys. Where it's one of those 30-stage events and it just gives you the medals to EZA all four of these units. And again, for me, as long as all four of those EZAs were good, I would take that over just one Dokkan Fest exclusive getting an EZA just for the sake of having a Dokkan Fest exclusive EZA, right? Now, one thing I did think of, and this is probably like Giga Copium, but like I'm not saying it is going to happen. We know that sometimes they will EZA units out of order because they fit the theme. Imagine if like the insane bombshell for this event, like this celebration EZA, is that they EZA these two units. Now, obviously, this would be kind of crazy, right? Um, I mean, they're not in the Shadow Dragon Saga, so they are, like, the earlier one. Like, this Goku, you could argue, fits the theme a little bit more than Vegeta, because obviously Vegeta becoming a Super Saiyan 4 by himself doesn't happen in the baby arc. And for the unit, it does only happen in the um, active skill. But 
these guys getting an easy A would actually be crazy because they could hopefully fix the issue with the active skill. Because these guys, because they basically get all of their stats on super, it's the reason why their active skill has always hit like really weak. So hopefully they could do something with the redesign of these units with an easy A to make it so that their active skills are actually really good. Now, again, like these guys came out in 2021. They were the first time Golden Week was ever on both versions at the same time. And we go back to Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. He released end of 2020, but 2021 for global. So in terms of like release window, he's only like a couple of months after or before these guys on global. So I don't see it being completely out of the question that they could easy A as part of this celebration. And then of course, as we move into part two, assuming that we're gonna get an LR um, Super Baby 2, hopefully just standalone Super Baby 2, then this guy gets an easy A, becomes his best link partner. They're gonna share like every single link, uh, <laughs> including legendary power, because they're both gonna be LRs. I guess the only difference is, would the LR Baby have fierce battle? I mean, Baby doesn't have his own Dokkan Fest event yet, so. I imagine he'd probably just awaken with medals from the part one new Super Saiyan 4 Goku though. So apart from Fierce Battle, these guys would have the exact same link set. So yeah, this guy absolutely feels like a shoe in 100% to get an easy A in this celebration, which I think would be pretty cool. And then of course we have this old Super Baby 2 who's as old as the uh, Trunks and Pan. So he definitely deserves an easy A. Um, obviously if the LR gets one as well, unless this guy is like an insane support unit, he's going to be kind of irrelevant, but I mean, like just make him the extreme version of that STR Super Saiyan 3 Goku, and then he'd be really good. All allies, like 40% attack or whatever, um, and then he could be really good, especially if the new baby is a slot 1 unit, because then you can run um, this guy in slot 3 floating, you know, there's some options there. Um, and then when it comes to free to play, we have a couple of options like this guy. Uh, we have these three units that never even got awakenings. So they could turn this event where you farm those cards and their medals that awaken them into the Super Saiyan version. Revamp this event into a Dragon Ball story event and then just change the drops, right? Because they, they don't add stages when they do that normally. But maybe just change the drops for like these later stages to giving medals to awaken the uh, Goten, Gohan and Trunks into TURs and then obviously just drop an Extreme Z area to EZA all four of these units and then I think that would be super super good. So there's definitely a lot of EZAs that we could get. Um, like I say, I don't expect Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, but hey, if it does happen, I mean, as long as he gets a good EZA, I'll be happy to be wrong because running him alongside the new Goku would be really good. I just personally don't think it fits, like, it doesn't fit the theme, right? So I personally don't think that they will do that. But let me know what you guys think down below. Who would you most like to see out of the units that we mentioned get an EZA? And what would your ideal build for them be? Let me know down below what you would actually like to see from their EZA in terms of their kits. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys are excited for, I know it's another Goku, but we need more Super Saiyan 4s. Literally only going to be the second full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku in the game. So I'm definitely looking forward to this one. So that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been the Mars Ningen. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the links down below for the Discord and the merch store. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.